Hi Virgo, welcome, I'm Juanita and today we're going to be looking at what is going on for you over the next two weeks. So whenever you see this video is when it is applicable for you. Okay, um, so the Sacred Forest Oracle out of what we will be using and clarifying with Osho Zen Tarot. I was going to look at um, using another deck for clarification but honestly I have such a connection with the Osho Zen that I... Um, I want to just keep using that so the messages do come through clear and concise for you. Okay, so let me just get this organized here. We're going to pull these out. Okay, so first up we have Meandering Pathway Flow. So I feel like, Virgo, this is about you needing to go with the flow. Um, no matter where the current takes you because... For some of you, I feel as though, okay, so see how he's got his light on a stick here, right? And that's kind of his guide, okay? Um, and then he is um, seeing this light here. So to him, it's like, well, this is the way I need to go. But if you have a look here, this is actually the path that he needs to take because if he goes that way he's actually going to get lost in the forest or the bush or whatever right so i feel like leo you may have in your mind a certain path that you need to take to get yourself to where you need to go but it's important for you to to allow yourself to be carried in the direction that actually needs to be taken because some of you may be fighting the current and it's not actually helping you. Oh, there's a little bit of something here. Hmm. Um, yeah, so, okay. That distracted me from my train of thought. Okay, sorry, there you go. Thank just get back here. I've got one card flopped up here. I can't, it's upside down. I haven't seen it yet. Let's have a look. Exhaustion. Some of you are feeling incredibly exhausted. Um, it's kind of like you keep trying and trying and trying to do something or build something. And it's just like, you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm so done with this. Um, it's like a fresh approach needs to be taken or a fresh set of eyes needs to be brought in. Um, adventure. Ooh, I really like this for this card here. Um, yeah, um, it's like... You see how, like, clearly this guy's trying to build a robot, but right, and um, he's got everything he needs, but just nothing's in the right place, and he's been involved with it for so long that he just can't see it clearly anymore. So I feel like it's kind of like needing to start from the beginning. Almost, I suppose, Virgo, like going back to basics, okay? And um, because it's as though you've progressed so far along the way that um, you've forgotten the basics and I feel like you need to take some steps back in order to get back on the path, so to speak, okay? Um, because, yeah, it's kind of like, the other thing I want to say with this is taking baby steps, okay? Um, some of you are trying to go ahead and leaps and bounds, but there are, you're missing steps, okay? Which is why things aren't coming together the way you would like them to. Okay, Moonlight Enchantment Magic. Okay, so, um, where do I even start? Gosh, sorry, just let me slow this down for a minute. Um, so, like, walking along the path here, you imagine that there's no light, or, you know, it is just moonlight, like, even at night time, right? We're walking along and it could be a full moon, um, so the way is quite litten, but it's not 100%. 
Um, some of you are afraid of the unknown. And some of you are afraid of your own shadow. Because you don't know. Um, with the own shadow, you don't know what's going to come out if you look at it. And it looks a lot bigger and a lot scarier than what actually is. Okay. Um, and others of you are holding yourself back because you're afraid of the unknown so this is um you you have the tools virgo you have all the tools that you need in order to proceed and those same tools will also allow you to come in and center yourself Sorry, I've had too many cards turn over there. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know. Sometimes I, I have a few flip over and then I'm like, are they all applicable? Or I, if I'm in doubt, I put them back. If I'm sure, I'll take them. So yeah, see, it's really, maybe that's just showing you, Virgo. It's about trusting, trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. Whoops, that went flying across the room. Just a minute, I'll just pause you for a tick. <laughs> it makes me laugh because it was actually, this was the first one to come out, but the one then went flying across the room. I didn't even get the chance to see what it was. It went so fast and it's slowing down. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Um, the other one that has come out is Courage. Yeah, so going back to this trusting in yourself and, and the seed, planting the seed and knowing you have the courage to get to the light, okay? Because it looks like the path that you need to go down, it seems like that path is very tough, okay? And it could very well be, Virgo, that this is a path that you're on now. And, and it's like you want to get onto the straight and narrow so you don't have to go through all that rubbish and all that crap and you just want to get there. Um, but it's important for you, it, yeah, it's important for you to take each step at a time. Again, going back to this not missing out on steps because what you don't want to have happen, Virgo, is for you to have to go through... Um, you know, some of the same experiences again because you missed out on some steps, okay? that Because all these steps have lessons in them to help with your growth, okay? To help you get up to this light. So if this seed um, chose not to grow or it chose to do something differently, um, it would have had to have done all that again, all right? So, yeah. I don't know if I explained that very well, but anyhow, I'm sure it will come out clearer if I didn't. <sighs> See, I just feel like this real, like, hurry up, get it, get it, you know, like this real impatience. <sighs> so that's actually what your energy might be for some of you. But this card here, I love this dragon power. See this lady here, how she's resting here? She's, she's refueling she's allowing this it's like this sphere this globe here is um you know how you charge your phone right it's like she's taking the rest that she needs in order to l allow herself to charge up okay um and i feel like this will allow you to bring through this mystical um what's the word, these mystic mystical gifts um, and traits and abilities that you actually do possess, okay, some of you are having a, a, a power snooze for 10 minutes and expecting this to be fully charged and expecting everything to come through and it's not quite enough, okay, receptivity, <sighs> 
allowing okay opening yourself up Virgo to allow to become receptive and trust that whatever it is you need to grow will come to you some of you are closed off and don't believe it's like you believe you need to do x y and z in order for the growth to happen but what you don't understand is to take x y and z steps you like you need to do those and that will help you know that that growth will occur during taking those steps is what I want to say does that make sense I hope that makes sense because I can see it in my mind like I'm being shown in my mind like these are the messages coming through and I'm getting them but I'm just trying to translate them and it's sometimes really hard and I think oh yeah this is so clear this is so clear and um yeah being receptive, being receptive to the consciousness. I feel like um, also, Virgo, this is about you being receptive to yourself and accepting yourself and accepting the fact that you do have power. You have this internal power. You have this inner dragon inside of you in a good way, right? Um, although if the dragon is, you, th you may think that the dragon's the shadow, What you may think is bad about you is it actually can be turned into something incredibly powerful and um, and that may become your light, you know, because this consciousness here is this um, truth, accepting the truth, accepting your existence, being receptive to, to this growth, being receptive to this growth. You know, we've got two flowers here growing to the light. Um, and okay, okay, Virgo, you want the light to shine so bright that there's no mistake that you're heading towards it. But the whole point of the journey is to have the path, um, and not all of it um, ignited with light because... You need to learn to walk in the shadow. You need to learn to embrace your shadow. Oh my gosh, we got there. <laughs> you need to learn to embrace the shadow. Whether that's your inner shadow or these unknown things that scare you, this is what that, that's that fear that you need to learn to embrace. Okay, water spirit, manifesting dreams, going with the flow. Okay, allowing the current to take you where you need to go. Okay, this is going to help you to manifest your dreams. Okay, um, I thought there was going to be something else that came through then, but I've been, it's like, nope, next. <laughs> Um, inner voice, trusting your inner voice because that's going to be your guiding light. Okay, see the otter here? Looks like the otter's a little bit, to me, looks like the otter's a bit unsure. Um, and, you know, this is definitely, I don't think the otter really, it's like he's trying to see what's down the river um, and he can't see and so he's not really trusting. Um, intensity. This is this intensity of moving too fast. This is like... It's kind of like you may very well be trying to keep things as slow as possible because you want to gauge every step of the way. Um, but it really is like just needing to get in there. Um, yeah. Wolf spirit. Family. Okay. Soul family. I feel like this could be about soul family for some of you. Um, it could be that you are being cautious because you have a family to support, potentially. Um, 
but I really love the energy of this wolf here. Like it's just such a nurturing, beautiful energy. Um, and you know, this wolf stands in this power, in its own power. And I feel as though it's like this, right? This consciousness, it has this consciousness about it. Um, and it just knows. It's like mother's intuition. And I want to say even father's intuition. Guys are not exempt from that, you know, but it's just this knowingness. And it's really tapping into this inner voice and trusting it, okay? Really trusting it on a major way, okay? Um, and, and that may take practice. That may, well, it will take practice, you know? Um, yeah, but we missed something here. I feel like we're missing a card. Oh, no, I'm not. Or oh, maybe I am. I don't even know. But anyway, <laughs> carry on. Nothingness, no thingness, right? Um, what do I want to say here? In a voice, consciousness, and no thingness, they're all the same, they're all from the same place. Okay, it's this energy here, this knowingness. This wolf doesn't have to sit there and go, oh, I wonder if, um, you know, I wonder if we should uh, maybe seek shelter from the snow tonight. Should we or not? Hmm, not really sure about that. Like the wolf knows what needs to happen and it knows what it needs to do. Okay, it's, it's, it's letting its inner compass, compass guide it. Okay. And that is helping, you know, this is not just about helping your own self to grow. This is helping all those around you to grow too. This is you leading by example, Virgo. Okay, so this is something that will benefit everyone. Maybe it is the case for some of you that you feel if you take a step wrong, everything's going to crumble and it will all fall apart and everyone will suffer. But the fact of the matter is, there's no wrong step. And that's very uncomfortable for some of you. Very uncomfortable. And I'll tell you why there's no wrong step. is because each step that you step take is a step that has very valuable lessons. Okay? And there's no wrong step because when you take the step, Virgo, it has lessons in there that need to be learned. Okay, so it may appear to you like that wasn't the right direction to go in. I shouldn't have done that. But instead of doing that and berating yourself about that, make sure that you're looking at the lessons in taking that step because they are there to be learned. Because if you don't learn the lessons and just beat yourself up and quickly turn the other way and move super fast, intensely fast, then you're going to need to be showing those lessons again and again and again until you get them. Okay, so it's really cool to learn the lesson the first time. <laughs> okay, and, and sometimes the lesson isn't necessarily clear. Okay, so this is where um, it's important for you to make this connection in okay to become conscious of your inner voice okay to step into this no thingness so that this voice can speak okay yeah protection guardians of the land protection see this this here hiding in the shadows here this is you hiding your shadow or hiding in the shadows not wanting to be seen um yeah there's this the sense of feeling like you're like I'm too scared to step out like you have to protect yourself um and that is that vulnerability that needs to be healed and um too many did I just pick one up that was already there yeah, no um 
Well, maybe I did. I don't know. If it comes out again, we'll know. And maybe I was meant to pick it up. Hey, <laughs> we've got one flip out here. Sorry. Let me have a look. Schizophrenia. Feeling. Uh, and you don't know which way to go. At a crossroads. Um, and not wanting to actually make a choice as to which way to go. See this guy here or this person here hanging in the balance, right? Hanging in the balance because they feel incredibly vulnerable and um, and, and scared that if they choose this side, it's going to be the wrong way to go. And if they choose that side, it's going to be the wrong way to go. They do not know which way to go. And they're so busy trying to perfect, protect themselves from doing the wrong thing that they just hanging in the balance and not actually allowing themselves to fly okay they're not giving themselves the freedom to fly yeah because you know it's that thing again of not being able to see clearly Okay, and this is, even when you can't see clearly, this is where you can tap into this inner voice and um, and become receptive to receiving the messages that you need to receive in order to know which direction to go in. Okay, because you will have that knowingness because that wolf, um, it, it's snowing so much it can't see which direction to go in, but it knows and it trusts that. You know, it uses all its senses and it pulls on everything it has to get here to know man why are so many cards dropping out here okay protection one more card for protection for Virgo please oh I thought one just flipped up then and went back in <laughs> sometimes they're like magic they just have their own little dance <laughs> here we go fighting yeah you're fighting you're fighting with yourself Virgo you're fighting the current you're trying to protect yourself so much that it's causing this internal battle within you and it's stopping you it's stopping you from moving it really is like because you're waiting you're waiting for the path to be cleared but the path is never going to be cleared. You've got to walk it. You've got to walk it. Because at the moment you're at a standstill. Trying to decide which way to go. And the path is actually clear. But you were like, oh gosh, I wonder where I should go. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> right? And I mean that in the most loving way. There you go. Um, okay, storm chaos. You're so afraid of this chaos and this storm happening. But... Here's what I want to say, even if there is a storm, even if you walk into a storm, the storm clears the air and it washes away everything that is not needed, okay? And um, you know how after a storm, how you... Um, you know, you go outside and the air is so fresh and everything looks very crisp that's what it's like I don't know I don't know if some of you are in a storm or you're afraid of the storm okay I don't know which one to take first but we've got laziness here um and this is denial avoidance maybe just interesting someone's just started some thing outside I hope that's not too annoying I don't want to stop the message um, making sure that you're doing all the work that needs to be done here in order to create the breakthrough that you need to continue traveling along your path or to start on the path okay um, We've also got source here, okay, and this is the beginning of a new new path which you're passionate about, okay. Like, did we have that last time? I don't even know. <sighs> Honestly, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm not going to spend time on that. Um, but <sighs> your awareness, there's something, there's something more here though. What is more here? What is more here? <laughs> that 
that's really good English, isn't it? Um, there's something more about this. This is this inner light that you are not bringing forward because you're too busy pretending you're at the beach when you're really in the kitchen. Um, there's definitely a sense of avoidance. You're avoiding the journey or continuing on the journey because you're either afraid of a storm or it's causing a bit of a ruckus, maybe with people around you. And you might be at a standstill because you feel like you need protection right now. But that standstill is stopping your growth. Hmm. Rainbow waterfalls. Oh, miracles. What happens after the storm, Virgo? The rainbow appears and miracles happen. Right? So what you're actually afraid of is this beautiful outcome. Because you can't see the outcome, you don't actually realize it can be beautiful if you are receptive to it being beautiful. You're so afraid of it being terrible and ugly and, you know, it's going to ruin everyone's life. So you're not actually allowing it to, to, to transpire and um, transform. You know, you're not allowing this transformation to happen because you're so afraid. But what you're afraid of is beauty. What was it when it did come out? But I caught it in my hand, so I feel like I need to, to put it back. We've got past lives. Past lives and we have existence. You have been through this before, I feel. This is not new to you. Maybe this is why you're afraid. There might be some kind of, this might be kind of igniting some kind of past life memory, which you don't realize exists. Some of you feel like you're on your own on this journey, not realizing that there are um, many um, beings around you that support you along this journey um, there needs to be some sort of connection made with yeah you see this is about connecting with the universe in order for you to you know just what I was saying before about allowing this inner voice to come out right going into this no thingness and um, you know into this consciousness right um, actually you know, do you know what? I feel like this is about you participating in your own journey. Um, there's some sort of, a bit of a disconnect, I feel. And this is through this feeling of this need for protection. And not allowing the flow to happen. Yeah, which is stopping all these miracles from coming in or not stopping them from coming in. But stopping you from seeing them coming in. Because, where are we? Oh, I've lost it. Oh no, here it is. You're sitting in the kitchen with your sunnies on, pretending you're at the beach. And you're not actually really experiencing things um, fully. Or even partially. Because of this fear. It's like kind of crippling. Right, last card here. Earth Spirit Stability. Stability. You see, the, these things are all going to lead to stability if you do walk the path, if you trust the path, if you trust yourself first and foremost. Trust yourself, Virgo. You've got this. You totally have this. There's like no doubt in my mind. There's doubt in yours, you know, and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a burden. This could be other people's doubts in you that you're carrying and it's leading you in the wrong direction you know this is like oh no go that way um you know you want to actually your destination is this way but this this person here and this rooster is telling you go that way because that's the way they want to go 
right? It's not the way you want to go. And and this has become heavy for you. And and this is, you know, exhausting again. This is ex exhaustion that is coming in. Control again. Control. Trying to control the direction of what she, which you go in rather than and and i am i get that though virgo i get that because that's part of that security and you want to feel stable you want to provide the stability um but like i said before there's no wrong step okay so i think if you can just hold on to that and take the next step and then after that take the next step it's one step at a time okay try and take your focus off the destination and just focus on the next step, okay? And that might help help you lessen the burden, okay? Because this guy's seeing how far there is to go, and he's carrying all this stuff on his back. Um, but just focus on the next step, okay, Virgo? I hope that helps. Okay, please share and all that jazz, you know, like blah blah blah, you know, all about it. Um, yeah. So thank you so much, Virgo. Thanks for sharing your energy with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.